Hello everyone and welcome back to Siberia. You're only seeing part two because you enjoyed part one, so thank you very much for that. Okay, now I think we're going to be heading back to the door that gave us so much trouble last time with the telescopic key. But before we do that, there's actually something over here on the bench that I had a look at at the end of the last video, or just after I finished recording. It's a newspaper, and I don't know if it contains anything that's really that vital to the story, but there's a, a lot of sort of exposition and background fluff that you might enjoy reading. It's about the loss of the Queen of Our Hearts, Anna Borrelberg, and um, yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting. And if you have stiff joints, chronic hangovers, or need a spring in your step, then Dr. Schweitzer has a miracle elixir just for you. But, uh, but that's pretty much that. I don't know, it might come in useful, so yeah, we have stuffed that into our jacket with all the other things. Anyway, now, let's go back. Let's go back and try that telescopic key on that strange mechanical door. So that was back here, wasn't it? So, past the bakery that apparently doesn't sell anything today. Oh, oh, who's this? Hello? Kate? Dan, I'm so pleased to hear your voice. Dan. How are you, honey? Did you have a good journey? Have you settled in? It was long, tiring, damp especially, but I'm okay. Especially when you... Everything going as planned? Yeah, I mean, well, not really. It's not exactly what I thought it would be. You know, everything's so different here. Actually, while we're on the subject, I managed to free myself up from our lunchtime. I'll come and meet you at the airport. I hope the flight from Paris won't be delayed. We're expected at the Goldbergs about 8 o'clock. I hope you have the time to take a shower and change, my poor honey bun. I don't think that's going to happen. Dan, I don't think the Goldbergs tomorrow night is really on. Don't worry, Kate. You'll be as perfect as ever. Anyway, you never have to wear much to look really great. Dan, Dan, I I'm going to have to extend my stay here. There's one or two complications. You understand? Kate, honey, what are you talking about? It's only a measly toy factory. I guess he doesn't understand. The sale isn't going through as expected. I've got to stay a bit longer. Dan, you don't mind, do you? But Kate, Katie, you can't do this to me. I mean, it's the Goldberg contract. There's millions of dollars on the line here. I know, I'm sorry. You go ahead. Don't worry about me. I'll get back as soon as I can, I promise. Okay, I I I've got to go. I'll call you back soon. Love you, honey. Right, okay, so he was my husband or boyfriend, I suppose, and I... It seems like we work alongside each other. Okay. Right, so this is the door I wanted to get to. And I should have the telescopic key. I do still have the telescopic key, so let's get that ready. So let's take another look at it. Now... Hey, that's a good symbol! And that extends into his head? Okay. Right. Are we missing anything else? Let's try this lever. No, that was it. <laughs> what a strange lock. Cool. Okay, and I managed not to trip over the uh, the key down there as I was coming in. Nice. So, this is the factory, right? Let's take a look. This is what I was here to negotiate buying. I don't know if that's exactly going to happen now, but... Wow, okay. Right, let's see. Let's just scan my cursor over everything. See what I can examine, if anything. Oh, okay. I can go that way and that way and that way. All right, we've got some choices. Where are we going to go? Let's go... Let's go left and go clockwise, you know? So let's start with this one over here. Which... Ooh, I think I've seen a screenshot of this. I think this is actually the factory. Yeah. So we're heading straight into the factory straight away. Fantastic. Okay, now let's see. Is there any detail here that I can examine? Nice little bird down there. Um... No, no, she she's not really into examining things, it seems. Never mind. Straight for the entrance, then. It's a very fancy place. All in the Art Nouveau style, apparently. According to several people in the comments. Okay. Now, uh, can we go in? Is it going to be locked? I figure it might be. No! Wow, alright. Straight in. Wow, what a big place. Okay. <laughs> interesting perspective. What are we doing here? Uh, on it. Oh, hang on. What am I doing with this? Oh, what am I doing with this entire thing? Oh! Oh, we're looking at the factory floor right now, and... Have they got robots? Oh, sorry, no. Have they got automatons making automatons? 
Incredible. What is this? Why does it have a face? This is all very bizarre. Right. What can I do? Can I interact with any of this stuff? Oh, something over there. Hang on, let's just let's go this way to start with. Ah, okay. Bit more of a close up. Yeah, that's so weird. Okay. So, I suppose no one at the village actually works here as a factory worker because they've got the automatons doing it for them. Right. I wonder what they were making over here on this conveyor. What were they doing? Uh, doesn't look like an, I can examine any of this, actually. Probably for the best, because I'll probably just break it, honestly. Um, okay, let's, let's go back to this screen. I think I could go beyond this or something. There's something like back here. There you go. Over to that corner. Is that... Oh, there might be a door over there. Let's just take a look, shall we? Yeah, it's definitely a door. Okay. Oh, another close-up. Let's see. I was hoping that one of them might have something in their hands. Some of them don't have hands. Some of them have hooks. I suppose it, <laughs> it depends what the job is, really, doesn't it? How oh, very, very odd. We can't use any of that, but we can have a look at the door. Which is... Again, unlocked! Wow, okay! Oh, hang on. Levers on the wall. Some sort of fuse box, circuit breaker maybe? I don't know. Can't use it though. Alright. What are we doing here? I really have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> oh, hang on. We can uh, we can use this lever though, so let's, let's give that a try. What are we doing? Doesn't look like that works. Why is that? Okay. Um, what's that for, I wonder? Hmm. Okay, there's another one up here. Ah! Perhaps I can use this one? Can I pull this? She's... Yeah, she's giving it a go! And that achieved... What?! Is that meant to be a hamster in a wheel or something? This, what's this outside? Oh, I think I saw this! On the side, by the entrance. It's like a water wheel or something? Okay, alright. Okay, so... I don't need to do that again. I don't need to do that again. I don't think I needed to do that in the first place, though, did I? Maybe I did. Right, now that that's down and it appears to be turning, maybe I can, I can use this. Does it suck water out through the pipe or something? Oh, it's connected. It... I don't know what I'm doing, but I think I'm actually trying to get the factory up and running again. Uh, sure. Can we use anything else? I don't... I don't believe so. Let's go back this way. Can we use the levers and stuff now? Or is that just inaccessible? No? Okay. I think water might be shooting through this pipe. Or something? I'm not sure. Maybe it's generating electricity for the factory to run? Maybe, maybe. Let's just leave. Are the factory workers working now? No. No, okay. I might sound disappointed, but I'm not really, no. Uh, okay. This way again, I suppose? So where did that pipe go? Like, over here? There's so many pipes just in the background. There's <laughs> going up, left, right, some over here as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's go back to the entrance. I think there was perhaps something I could do on the left. There was a staircase or something. Over here? That's right, there's a staircase. Um, okay. Where am I going? Am I going down here on the ground floor or am I going up? Ooh, very fancy. Okay, what are we doing here then? We've got a few boxes here. I think that's probably going to lead me back to the other screen. But we can keep going. Another phone call? Yes, hello? Kate, what happened to you, my poor munchkin? I've been trying to contact you for hours. Is that my mum? I'm in Europe, Ma. Job thing. <laughs> what? Europe? My God. Oh, I've got such happy memories of Europe. Some of them even involve your father. But uh, that's enough of that. <laughs> Too much information. Paris? London? Venice? Valadilen. Yeah, I know. It's a bit out in the boonies. What in the world are you doing out there? Running a factory, you know, apparently. Business. 
I've got to see through the takeover of some old family business that's got a few debts. It's a really charming place, but there's one or two weird things going on here. I, I can't go into it now. Oh, well, that's right. Your old mother's too dumb to understand it. You really do take after your father sometimes. Mother. Kate, you'll never guess who I saw yesterday. Ma, I haven't got a lot of time, you know. <gasps> Frank! Ma, please, I've got to go. Frank! Frank Malkovich, the Russian opera singer. Well, maybe you don't remember him. He was quite a star in his day. Listen, Ma, I really don't have the time. <laughs> I'll call you back. He is as charming oh as my he God. was. We spent the cut her off, cut her off. Mom, I really have to go. I'll call you back, I promise. Lots of love. Kate! <laughs> Fair enough. We'll talk about that later. I'm sure. I'm sure. Okay, so, what do we got here? Uh, there's another door. I'm wondering if that is also unlocked. What's it? What's this over here, though? Is that like a forklift or something? It does look like a forklift. Can we use it? We're using it. I think. What are we doing? We're meddling with things we shouldn't be meddling with. Okay. Um, so what comes out through that chute? Ah. Oh, where's he? Where's he off to? Oh, blimey. Okay, so whatever he would be carrying would go into that thing right in the center. And he's on his way back, okay. And he does all this at, at the turn of a wheel. That's pretty damn good. Yes, these automatons are very, very special, but I can't help but feel there should be something here for him to pick up. So perhaps we can deal with that in the next room. How's that? It might be like a box or something. I don't know. There's a few boxes around here. Perhaps that's what, that's what the forklift carries. Anyway, let's go back here to the door. Unlocked? It is! Fantastic! Oh my god. Okay. Are you human? I don't think you are. What the hell? What are you doing up there? Right. Um. What, what, are, we, what are we doing? What are we doing? I can't, like, interact with this thing, it seems. I can have a look at a saw, possibly, or go to another screen. Go to another screen, okay. Oh, we've got hands and stuff. For all the factory worker automatons? What is this? Ah, we're putting him down. Brilliant. He hasn't got any feet. Uh, I wouldn't get off. Okay. <laughs> yeah, without any feet, I'd think it'd just fall down. Right, um, well, he's down now. Let's see if we can interact with him. Maybe even... Can we talk to him? Are they capable of that? Oh, many thanks indeed. I guess. I am most embarrassed for you to see me like this. Holy shit. I lack a certain completion. You see, nobody here found the time to polish off the finishing touches. Honestly, these days, we really have lost the art of good workmanship. Uh, yeah, maybe. How is she not With freaking out? Do I have the honor of speaking? Could you please state your identity, articulating clearly? My name is Kate. Kate Walker. Allow me to introduce myself. I am model XZ2000. My common name is Oscar. I represent the technological zenith of this factory's production. I have been designed to drive a locomotive. A touch messy, but an essential task. Ah. Okay. Well, we've got a lot to talk to him about. Let's go from top to bottom. Have you logged my first and last name? Perfectly. Kate Walker. Pleased to meet you. Me too, uh, Model XZ-2000. Please, all my friends call me Oscar. This fad for cryptic names is such a bore. Could you imagine being called by your passport number? I suppose not, Mr. Oscar. Sir. <laughs> what about the mission? Do you know where I could find the factory paperwork? I cannot reply to this question with precision. Try Anna Vorlberg's office above the machine floor. Right, okay. Above the machine floor, so that's probably up the staircase. Okay, well, what about help? When you are complete and totally functional, can you help me gather information about Hans Vorlberg? 
I'm afraid I can't, Kate Walker. Duty calls. Once I've recovered my feet, I have to see to my post on the train. <laughs> it's waiting for its engineer. Ah. Why do I have a, a feeling that we're going to have to find his feet for him? Does the name Hans Varlberg mean something to you? Of course. He created me. But I'm sorry to say that I am yet to meet my maker. Have you any idea where he might be right now? No, Kate Walker. But I am sure I would experience great metaphysical satisfaction in his presence. <laughs> okay. The train. You said you were a train engineer? What train would that be? But, Kate Walker, you have not seen the magnificent train waiting at the station? And Sorry, no. where is that train going, Mr. Oscar? The train is going far away. Very, very far away indeed. Oh. Are you taking any passengers? My duty is to drive the train. Above all, to avoid delays. An engineer prides himself on punctuality. I will agree with you, though, Kate Walker, that a train without passengers is hardly a train at all. You haven't answered my question. <laughs> For further details, please consult Anna Vorlberg. That is going to be tough. Do you know about Momo? Do you know Momo? No, Kate Walker. Fair enough. <laughs> Simple as that. Automatons, though. You are a very strange robot. Ah, don't say that. Automaton, if you please. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. Automatons have an additional soul auxiliary, you understand? Uh, I think so. So that's what makes them different? There is some sort of strange soul and AI to them? Interesting. Has it been a long time since you last saw Anna Vorlberg? 72 hours, 32 minutes, and 20 seconds, to be precise. <laughs> this regrettable absence explains the delay in my production process. Anna Vorlberg is dead, Mr. Oscar. What do you mean by the notion of death? Kate Walker? Broken. Disactivated. Worn out. Damaged. Unplugged. Oh, that really is most bothersome. <laughs> I'd rather counted on finishing my production. Hmm. And that's why I think I might have to help out. Can I be of use to you? Why, you certainly can. I absolutely must have my feet. My hands are model XZ2003. My feet our model XZ2005 underscore B. Be careful. The model XZ2005 underscore A has evidenced some rather embarrassing performance failures. Like bugs? Automatons do not have bugs, Kate Walker. They simply display functional idiosyncrasies. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't <laughs> Good know. Good excuse. What do I have to do to get you a pair of feet? Use the assembly line to construct them. Bloody hell. You will need a production punch card on which is recorded my body design data. Here is my own punch card. Okay, I'll give it a go. Thank you, Kate Walker. Right, well, I assume we need to get him to the train at some point, so yeah. Let's go along with this. <laughs> Again, putting it in my jacket. Right, that's that. Oscar, I am delighted to have met you. See you again soon, I hope. Yes, Kate Walker. Okay, so we're looking for the XZ2005 uh, underscore B feet. I wrote that down just in case. Uh, I don't know if it's actually going to come in handy, but... Can we can we do something over here, or is that the same screen? Okay. <laughs> I was hoping there might be a, a spare pair of legs or feet up here, honestly, but no. Nothing that I can use. Shame. Right, let's leave, and um, I think now let's explore upstairs. I assume we can go up. We can. Okay, brilliant. Alright, so, let's see, what have we got here? Is that a door? I, I think it's a door. And again, like most of the things in the factory, it's unlocked! Alright, fantastic. So, what, what are we doing here? Ah, this could be, this could be what I'm looking for, this could be her office. It looks very grand. Let's see. Okay, so yes, yes, I can have a look at the desk. What are we going to find, I wonder? We have got... What is this? Ah... Uh, is this the train he was talking about? It kind of looks like a train. Looks like it would run on rails, so... Yeah, very fancy. Very fancy indeed, okay. Can we not take that with us? We just sort of... We put that back, okay. What about the drawers? Nothing in the drawers? Can't examine that. The books... We've got some papers here. Okay. Dear hands. I know how much you dislike the written word, but I do not have the time to forge you a voice cylinder. 
I imagine that someone in your entourage will be kind enough to read these few lines to you. I received your latest set of plans. Your project is extraordinary. Your all-time masterpiece, perhaps. Time seems to have had no effect on your genius. Quite the contrary. I am proud of you, my dear little brother. Sometimes I find it hard to believe that a century has gone by since the last time I saw you. What the fuck? It only seems like yesterday that you rushed away from Valadelin. We undertook production immediately, following your instructions to the letter. The locomotive was ready within a week. If only you could see it. But you will see it. That much I have promised you. It is magnificent. It seems impatient to set out on its maiden voyage. There is only Oscar left to build. I hope I will finish him soon. But as you can imagine, his mechanism is complex and takes a great deal of time and handiwork. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I understand you wish me to bring you that cursed prehistoric doll. The very thought of which, I wonder if it is still in the cave, and if it is, what state it is in. But what does 60 years matter, after all, to an object already several thousand years old? Several thousand years old? Wow. What the hell? I'm going to find it, Hans, I promise you. I have a bit of a nasty flu at the moment, which is running me down a little. I should be better in a few days, though. The sale of the factory is taking shape. The lawyer from New York should be visiting, and we will we'll be able to sign the contracts. Then I shall... Ellipsis. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. That's it. The final thing she wrote, probably. Okay, right. What's all this about a prehistoric doll? Like thousands of years old. What the hell? Alright. It's not talking about Oscar, right? Uh, we've got like a little diary here. <laughs> Is that for... Is that like an ink, an ink pot or something? Oh, blimey. Okay, what have we got here? Outstanding payments? Oh, dear. 47,782 francs? Bloody hell. Okay, what's the next one? 80,210 francs. And this is in 1998? Okay. Oh, yeah, invoice is dated in 1998. It's actually uh, September the 23rd, 2000, apparently. Anything else? Ooh. Undertaking certain procedures against your company. That doesn't sound good. Unless the bank. So, they really weren't doing too well. Wow. Alright. Oh my gosh. Invoices, invoices, more invoices. I never knew the factory was in such a bad way financially. These last two years must have been very hard for Anna Vorlberg. Seems so. Okay. Was that what I was looking for? Is that what I needed is that what I needed to see? We got anything else here? There's a few books, painting. Uh that's about it. What about over here? Ah What's over here? Let's see. Some more books, I think, you know. A clock. Hang on. Ooh. Ooh! Shit! <laughs> Why is this hidden away? What the? It seems that when things move on the screen, maybe it's because I've got a, a newer version of Windows or something, but everything seems to glitch out. I don't know if I can fix that. Like the book over here, that's really weird. But what did I just pick up? I found the music cylinder. All right. Why is that so important? Music cylinder, okay. Okay, right, so let's see, what else have we got? Uh, I assume I can put the music cylinder back. I don't think I want to do that, though, honestly. That's about that, though. Yeah, that's that. Okay, let's let's just leave. Let's just leave, okay. I think that's this area actually taken care of, really. Now, let's go back out to the walkway and see what else we find. There's nothing on the tables or chairs down here, right? So, yeah. Okay, so along we go. There's another staircase up, and a ladder up to the very top, I think. Are we going this way? It seems so. This is the end of the line. What's up here? Alright. Oh. Okay, we can't seem to use this, but we can use this. I wonder. I wonder. Right. Doesn't look like that works. Okay, that doesn't work. Oh, that does! That does! 
What on earth? What am I doing here? Am I choosing... That looks like wood. That looks like wood as well, but a different type. Are we choosing, like, a different material or something? What the hell? What are these things? Oh, I can use these! Oh, okay. Um... If that's going to work... Uh, it looks like something's missing. Is that for the punch card? Maybe this is what... Yeah, maybe. Let's try it. Yes! Try it. Doesn't look like that works. Uh, okay, what about if all of them were down? Doesn't look like that works. Or all of them were up? Oh, but, oh, hang on. Doesn't look like that works. Uh, why is this one on? We can't pull the punch card out. Okay, so num yeah, number six is working. Do we need to do these in a specific order? I honestly don't know. No, hang on, that's not number six, that's number three. Yeah, I see, so the one, two, three is one, two, three, I see, so... I don't know if it has anything to do with any of this, really. Perhaps only one of them's working. What do these one, two, threes actually mean? Like, positions on the factory floor? Doesn't look like that works. Perhaps I have to leave the factory and come back. There's loads of other places to explore, right? Doesn't look like that works. So, that was the factory. Where does this go? Uh, I, I'm not really sure. Let's take a quick look. How, how long have I been playing? Like half an hour, something like that? I'll probably end part two pretty soon, honestly, but let's just take a look at this area, if possible. Okay, what have we got? What have we got here? Okay, there's a lever. <laughs> it's like a big red button. I can't help myself. Oh, blimey. Oh, coming out of the factory. Ah, to grab that. What's that? Is that a battery or something? Hey, maybe that was what I was missing. Okay. <laughs> that's that. Can I use it again? I don't need to do that again. I don't need to do it again. Okay, so that's that. It's never coming back. Never mind. Anything else over here? Oh, well, there's another one here. What is it, exactly? I'm honestly not sure. Some sort of battery, possibly? Well, I think I'll be paying another visit to the factory again fairly soon. In fact, I'm very curious. I'm going to go back inside straight away. I want to know exactly where that went. Over here somewhere, maybe? I don't actually remember seeing a big hole in the wall, so perhaps not. Oh, no, 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 there you go, there you go. There it is, right at the end of that chute. That was the hole in the wall. I see. Right, let's get the forklift up and running again. And that's going to take that over to the center, which may be able to power the things that I couldn't power on the panel beforehand. That's my theory. Perfect. All right. Off it goes on its little journey. This is so delightful. So that's going to connect to that. Yeah? Oh, it might not be a battery. It's like a vat of liquid, possibly? I don't know. Anyway, it appears to be plugged in now. Thank you very much, Mr. Forklift. Right, so... Let's just take a gander at exactly what that thing is. We didn't examine that last time. Perhaps we can examine it now. No, we still can't. But it does appear to connect to every conveyor belt and automaton in the nearby area. So, let's go back upstairs. Let's try using the punch card again. Well, it's the moment of truth. And I honestly don't know if this is going to work, but let's give it a try. Okay, none of these are working again, which is, uh, worrying. So, I don't actually think this changed too much. Hey, it works! Am I making... Yes! I'm making feet! Perfect! Hopefully that's the right size and everything. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Right, let's, let's back out of this. Let's go collect Oscar's feet. Oh, again, very glitchy, but I can take them. Never mind. 
So next up, we have to go and give Oscar his feedback. But that's not going to happen until part three. Thank you very much for watching part two. Hope you're still enjoying it. If you are, leave this video a like. See you next time. Listen, Ma, I really don't have the time. I'll call you back. <laughs> he is as charming oh as he always was. Oh my god. We spent the cut her off, cut her off. Um, I... Can we use it? We're using it. I think. What are we doing? We're meddling with things we shouldn't be meddling with. Unlocked? It is! Fantastic! Oh my god. Maybe even... Can we talk to him? Are they capable of that? Oh, many thanks indeed. I guess. I am most embarrassed. Hang on. Ooh. Ooh! Shit! <laughs> I don't actually think this changed too much. Hey, it works! 